Welcome back, class, to Ruthless, a Mass Effect 3 story. I'm Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. And uh, we've just lost Thessia. But Trent, Trainer. If you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Wants to play some games. Which I'm this fine with. Gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. I've lived in apartments Want smaller than this. Ready to play? Play. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. Gooey. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge. Try me. I'm gonna lose. Come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. Maybe I did. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That's that not chess. That's not chess. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? Oh dear. One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Oh, that was nice. What's this? Has Fornax been updated? Looks like it. The Advanced Edition. Remind ourselves what we're fighting for. Or at least part of what we're fighting for. We're in a dark place. Things are getting more desperate than before. Before we charge headlong into Sanctuary, it's probably time to check in with our crew. And also, there are some extra assignments Admiral Hackett sent us. Oh, baby's up. We're probably not going to be doing much more today. medical exoskeleton. I can even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? What's like walking around in heavy armor? It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle, you blue vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. She does have hips for days. So Thessia, huh? I guess the Asari are wishing they had fewer dancers and more commandos right about now. Joker. Too soon? You're a damn good pilot, Joker. And I put up with a lot because of that. But we're in the middle of a war. You see this? Tip tree. Little colony out in the ass end of nowhere. My dad lives there. So does my sister. Reapers rolled in about two weeks ago. So you can assume that I'm generally aware there's a war on Commander. So why the jokes? It's his name. He says that according to your armor's metabolic scans, you're under more stress now than during the Skillian Blitz. Like more than Torfan, where you put your whole damn squad through a meat grinder. And the last time I had a briefing with Anderson, he told me to take care of you. Oh. The guy leading the resistance on Earth is worried about you, and I'm supposed to help. Hmm. I appreciate the thought, Joker, but I'm fine. The hell you are. You're like half robot at this point. No offense, Edie. <laughs> and it's my fault. When the Collectors blew up the first Normandy, you died because I wouldn't leave. 
because you had to come back for me. Couldn't leave the best pilot in the fleet behind, could I? Yeah, well, I guess that would have looked bad on your report. Come on. We've got work to do. Cranky. Shepard, I have a question about human behavior. This isn't the best time, Edie. Perhaps humor? A penguin is driving through the Arizona desert. Impossible. Not in the mood. A lively rendition of La Marseillaise? No. Very well. I will maintain a respectful silence until you indicate otherwise. So cranky. Hello, Shepard. Commander. He's in a bad mood. Someone's a cranky boy. And it's Commander Shepard. Commander Cranky Pants Shepard. Commander. Everyone's on tippy toes right now. Shepard, this wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. Thanks, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. I mean, the traditional response is you're welcome, but okay. No one hiding in there, eh? Your bartender buddy's missing? That's okay. Can't 10 bars 24-7, you know? Oh, what exciting stuff have you got here now? Definitely want some pie jack meat. Don't eat that. Alright, Ashley. Already read that. Ashley's not in here. Oh, yes she is. Oh boy. I'm sorry, Shepard. You alright? I'm fine. Liara? I don't know. Okay, I'll talk to her. Don't bother. This isn't something she should deal with by herself. Same goes for you. Sure. I'm gonna go talk to her. You stay here. Because if you go talk to Liara, you're gonna say something racist to her. And that just won't be any good. We all know how much you love racism. Oh, so, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. <laughs> Garrus. Let's see how our Garrus the gunman Vicarian is doing. He's doing all right. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. Oh, it was good. Tight. But they're okay. Thank goodness. We'll take every scrap of good news we can get. Wish I had more, though. Why? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. If it means anything, I would have given the Primarch the same advice. Yeah, there's that ruthless calculus again. Ruthless. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before... Before your friend picks you up, dusts you off, and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. We'll get through this. We always do. Thanks, Karis. Hey, I got proximity mine. Oh boy. Might actually be really useful for like uh, an infiltrator. Dr. Tassoni has gone to speak with the Prothean. Oh. Oh.
How's Amru doing? Hmm. Still trying to find some people, eh? Certainly seems that way. Well, let's go find the Prothean. Apparently there's only one. Those were all lies back there. They are, huh? My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd appreciate you using it from now on. No, you're not worth it. Gotta trust Instead your troops. Today. She's having a bad day. We all are. It will get worse. There is no time to coddle the feelings of a depressed Asari. We recover from this defeat, or we die. Sorry to tell you, Javik, but she's the coolest. It was good to see another of my kind. Even if he was just a ghost. One more Prothean fights the Reapers. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. Still sucks, though. Still sucks. Oh, hey, there's my VI Gef who's helping to get the ship's engines running better. And here's Ken. He's a quarry and we met on Omega last game. And now he works for us, thanks to the Expanded Galaxy mod. Anything new? Oh, Ezo Afterburner. I would like that very much, please. I definitely want to go faster. Keep it up, dudes. Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Garvug. Alright, let's go back up and see maybe we can talk Liara down. I'll go talk to Liara. Thanks, Shepard. I got this. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. Yep. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Protean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. How did this happen, Shepard? My entire civilization. The Asari's history. The Protheans made it a lie all along. No, and your I religion made it a lie. To hunt for the catalyst. Liara, you had nothing to do with the attack on Thessia. Nothing to do with it? I told those people on Thessia we'd save them. How many Asari died because I demanded their help? None. Shepard, that isn't true. Yes, it is. You've been warning your people for years, Liara. There's not a damn thing you should feel guilty about. If we move fast enough, they'll have a chance to survive this, to start again. We lost Thessia, but we haven't lost the Asari yet. Helping the refugees. That's something I can do. 
It's something I owe them. I knew you'd think of something. I still need some time, Shepard. But thank you. Sometimes crew just needs a little bit of a boost. Ooh, stasis. Stasis is very excellent. Alright, that's everybody on the... Oh, no, wait. James. Don't want to forget about James. Hey, for what it's worth, I know how it feels to lose like that. I know that doesn't make it easier, but you're just human like the rest of us. Actually, I'm a cyborg. It's not working, Lieutenant. Hey, everyone on this ship knows you did all you could. You need to cut yourself some slack. Whatever it takes to get that data back from Cerberus, we're behind you. Whatever it takes to end this. Noted. Thanks, James. Well, let's figure out what to do next. We got a lot of options. Have we got all the weapons in the game now? I mean, it looks like we've got at least most of them. Well, I'll see you when something cool happens. Okay. This should be where she's hiding. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Mm. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. She did betray Cerberus for me. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I'm sorry, what? I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I'm glad you didn't. Better to stay dead than be someone's plaything. Exactly. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. Yeah, pretty shitty. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have taken everything from me, made me a prisoner. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Apology accepted. We can't change the past. And we have enough to deal with right now. Yes, we do. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. No, they okay. can't. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss out on anything there. I'll meet you back on Horizon. So what do we know, Shepard? Edie? The sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. 
It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. We don't leave until we're one step closer to Cerberus. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I'll, I'll try to boost it. Oriana? What a surprise. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. <laughs> Somebody had a fight. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Pretty big mess, Shepard. Lots of combat. Yeah, but who was fighting? Okay. Now you've got for me what? Armor piercing ammo, right? All right, let's take a look around. See what there is of interest out here. So far, nothing. The radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no no no. Where's that other one? There you are. Watch for the sniper. I don't know why I did that. Looks like they were evacuating. And looks like the Reapers were chasing them out. About time they started killing each other. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if they could just do that for us? Just entirely take care of things like that. Oh yeah, Cerberus and, and the Reapers, they took each other out. The rest of the galaxy, we're fine. Hmm. I guess I have to sand nearer to it. Service is running. Then that's where we're heading. I mean, you know, we will. That sounds ominous. Is that so? How interesting. Oh, there's no... That glass is broken, that's why. Feeling of hope, I should say. Oh, there's that synth. I don't like this at all. I told you when we first heard about it, it's definitely a trap. I hope you listened to me, because I was definitely right. Integration? 
processing. stuff. Hmm. This is all very suspicious to me. You don't say. Oh, hey, what's up? An observation deck looks like a dead end. We need an exit. Keep looking. That's fine. We'll stay on the move. You never know what else we'll find in this area. Paperwork. That's that's always useful. What was that, Miranda? That's Miranda. This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. I'm Shepard. Of course it is. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay. So, we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? No, no ideas. You can say no. That's an acceptable answer. Oh, pistol scope. Don't mind if I do. Now, I don't want to miss anything down here. But I get the feeling that we didn't. Oh, we did. Got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick. That's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about sanctuary. Around, I guess. Seemed perfect. Somewhere to hide, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Oh no. Those aren't the people you want waiting for you. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warn us about no comms until we're through processing. What I tell you, top notch security. Can't wait till you get here. So, do you think that he's uh, collaborating with them Reapers? Kind of sounds that way, doesn't it? Pump that water. A security panel. Shutting it down. What's going on? That's Cerberus tech, all right, but there's something different about it. Modifications? A lot of modifications. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Hmm. Well, fine, you go first. Tally's gotten Cavalier. Some of this is Reaper tech, Shepard. I'm sure of it. Of course it is. And the Reapers. Not a surprise. Let's pick up the pace. I mean, that's kind of their whole deal, isn't it? Oh, I like this song. This is a good song. Cerberus and using Reaper technology. This is going to be bad, isn't it? It's going to be good. Locked. Oh good, a safe. That's how you know we're safe here. 
Because there's a safe on the wall. Who's hanging out up here? Power switch. There. What is this? Are they turning people into husks? They're just rounding them up and killing them. Not killing, Garrus. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Disgusting. Cerberus is the Werberist. Maybe shouldn't have turned on that light. No! Oh! You got me. You got me. You forget how good they are at climbing. I guess we gotta get to that tower then. You think these husks are gonna get in here? Maybe not in here, but they are gonna get in somewhere. Why create husks? They're just more troops for the Reapers. They're studying. They could destroy the facility if they escaped. It seems like a stupid risk. That the service's middle name. Recycling. Yeah, the Reapers had a reason, unless they were created here. Shutting down the power. Where are you? Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. You could have asked for my help, Miranda. The entrance as well. Ah. Uh. Shepard, she doesn't know he's here. Captain Weaboo. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. That's not very secure communications they've got. Damn it. Let's move. Can't break that glass either. Okay then. Nope. Okay, you ready for this? Next. There must be some kind of way out of here. Said the Reaper to the Chief. Gotta be more where they came from. You think? Yeah, we definitely got some good music happening here. Ugh. Marvelous. I'm I'm so glad for you. Must be left over from the attack. Who's coming for me? Two can dance. What else we got?
You didn't need that body, right? We're all good here? That's what I thought. Missed anything? No, I suppose not. This is all bad. Oh, hey, Banshee. You having a good time in there? Just hanging out? Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down oh. what was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. It's hard to imagine what this place was like in full operation. Did you teleport yourself behind that glass and get stuck? The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. And terrible. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. Next. Hang on. Reapers wanted this place shut down. Maybe we'll find out why. It doesn't make sense. But Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? Cerberus got uppity. Got it, Shepard. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Hmm. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? <sighs> Draw them in and throw them in a meat grinder. She said that shipments were sent to the elusive man. Maybe we can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. We're going all along it. Death rates are 100%, of course. Yeah, I definitely want this research data. Although, if it'll help, anything in the service of defeating the Reapers. Almost anything. You didn't need that, right? There seems to be another one in there somewhere. Where is that engine? Certainly around somewhere. We're very close. Understanding the indoctrination process is one thing, however, turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective, but discovery happens at a pace. You yeah, you're just now figuring that out, Miranda? Okay, so where's this console? Uh. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. 
With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Controlling Reaper forces. Is that possible? If it know. is, I'll play the rest of it. I'd like to know more. We've done it. We've found a way to co opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They must have discovered what Cerberus was doing. That's bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Hold on, Shepard. There's more. But wait, there's more. Ah, oh, shoot. Damn it. I hope she's ready. Oops, we saw that already. I mean, if anyone can take him, it's Miranda. Have I mentioned I love this gun? Yeah? Don't get cocky. I think we got him. Anything of interest down here? No. Probably not safe to be there. There's some computers here. Nope. More husks. Being experimented upon. Glass ain't breaking. Nothing there. Okay. So it's got to be... I mean, you'd think it would be here somewhere. I guess we just keep going then. We have underestimated the strength of the Reaper signal. No shit. Yeah? Is it over here? Thanks, guys. I'm just, you know, checking around in case there's anything else we need to grab. Shepard, a way out. Yeah, I see it. This will get us closer to the tower. Will it? You like my action roll? Oh. I saw someone down there. Did you see it too? Here they come. This way. Oof. Something went on here. Yeah, they're bad news. But so am I. I know what you're thinking. No, I'm not playing on easy. This gun is just that good. 
and I've got armor piercing bullets. Let's get over there. Oh, she coming for me? Okay. Keep moving. Although, what's this? Let's move. I mean, that looks interesting, but I guess not. Okay, onwards and inwards. Tower access granted. Oh, good. Just me, eh? Get ready. Oh, there you are. Shepard. A commander. Oh. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go, and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. Mm. All right, take her. <laughs> But I want out alive. Deal? No deal. <sighs> no deal. <laughs> Called it. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? Oh, you haven't you met. Worry. You're safe now. Oh, you have I'm met. Fine. I just. I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard, fancy meeting you here. You could have asked for help. Got a break. Are you all right? I'll be fine. Really, I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. With everything at stake, you come in here alone? That was foolish. Ariana was in danger. You saw what my father was capable of. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes. You can. I mean, status? now you have Any to run we can use from, this from the Reapers. Uh, the research data is gone, but I've still got basic facility information, like shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. Perfect. It's not a direct link, but it's something to work with. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. Oh? Before Kai Ling took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. I mean, I'm not gonna act fast. Sounds like you thought of everything. I have two DLC to not get quite, through. But Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn yeah, right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I've got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I See that so. you are. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communications Grambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by my father. We need to pick up at the tower. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Tell me about it. I want
wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. You should know better. What's wrong? The Severus lab you raided hinted at something big, but we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reavers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reavers. Jump cut. My that wasn't me. That was the game. Hack it out. Okay. Let's see what horrible things have happened in our absence. No, oh, nothing. No change to... Oh, I guess we have some change. What's happened to the first fleet? Chemical burns, reaper attack. Taking their toll. Crews are exhausted. Right. Everyone's getting tired. It's draining our strength. Has it been months? I guess it has. Miranda Lawson. Doesn't make up for all that we've lost, but... Sixth Fleet's exhausted. Seventh Fleet's exhausted. Great. <sighs> well, what kind of soldier looks at a camp that turns people into husks and goes, Yeah, I want to help with that? The same guy that lets Cerberus stick Reaper tech into his skull. Those bastards aren't human anymore. Any new messages? Looks You're like welcome. it. Cool. Got some Cerberus data. Oh, okay. Interesting. Elingon. Okay. I'll take care of that. Okay, well, when we return, we've got some missions to do. Uh, probably do these N7 ones off the grid. But, uh, you know, you'll know that these things are happening. Wow, things are not looking good right now. Alright, see you soon. Till then, all the best.